Hey, it's Haplin, and in this module, we're going to learn how to put our conversations on autopilot with Conversation AI. So this is a really big one because by now, the conversational nature of high level and the way the platform is set up may be starting to build some tension. I see this happen a lot with businesses where on the one hand, they're really excited to have conversations, especially SMS conversations with leads and actually drive sales that way. But on the other hand, they don't really have the time or the energy to actually conduct all those conversations or maybe they could with a couple, but not at scale. High Level gives us the power to be able to send an SMS message to a lead right after we generate them. And we can follow up with them the next day, the next day, the next month, every quarter for the next year. And this is a really good idea. We want to lean into that because it's going to maximize the number of people we're engaging, who engage back with us, responses that we get. Conversations are so big in building momentum towards sales. However, depending on your business model, you may need to be doing this hundreds or thousands of times per month in order to really get the volume to a place where you're able to reach your goal. And not every conversation is going to convert into a sale. You'll have past customers reaching out with support questions. You'll have tire kickers wasting your time. You'll have other marketers trying to hack your funnel. You'll have all kinds of people coming into your conversations and into your CRM. And so in the past, what you had to do is actually build up a whole sales department, assign these leads out to different users and have them all work their own pool of leads like a real sales team. And High Level has all the infrastructure to do that, but I think there's an even better solution now, which is just put the conversations on autopilot with AI. In your sub account, head down to settings, and then there is a conversation AI tab right here, and we can create a new bot with the click of a button. Now we have a couple different types. We have general Q&A, we have appointment booking, and we have start from scratch. We can also have multiple bots for different things, different channels, different areas. Right now, I'm just going to start from scratch. We can still set it up for appointment booking, even if we start from scratch, so I'm not too worried about it. First, we land on bot settings. This is pretty straightforward. I recommend setting it as the primary bot. If this is the first time using Conversation AI and the first bot you've built, you can always change this. Let's give our bot a name. And then down here, we have set bot status. It can either be off and suggestive or autopilot. Off is very straightforward. It's off. Autopilot just means it's on. It is live. It is conversing with your lead for you. Suggestive is interesting and helpful because what happens is it pulls up the conversation and lets you look at it and then gives three suggested messages that the AI would choose from. You can choose which message is most appropriate and or train the bot from there if none of them are appropriate and then you can send that message off. So that way if you're not super comfortable or confident in your AI prompting, you're worried about whether AI is going to say the wrong or right thing, you can just start in suggestive mode and then allow yourself to vet every message until you get to the point where you're confident enough to put it on autopilot. But ultimately the goal here is autopilot if we want AI to be doing this totally hands off. So I'll just set it on autopilot for now. Here we can control these supported communication channels and look at all the channels this can cover. Obviously SMS and or WhatsApp, depending on your region and depending on the popularity of those platforms, those are the most common and probably the most important for really owning your lead data. Instagram and Facebook are really popular messenger channels. So depending on your business model, if you use those platforms, highly recommend doing that. We'll learn more about integrating those platforms in another module, but you can pull those conversations in so that those social media platforms, if you do a lot of selling via DMs or via comment automation or anything like that related to social media, Conversation AI can help you with all those efforts as well. And then chat widget and live chat, this is actually utilizing the chat widget technology we learned about in a previous module where if you have a chat widget on your website, you have people chatting you back and forth, you can automate those conversations as well. So I'll leave mine set to SMS for right now. You can do multiples, you can have different bots, one for SMS, one for Facebook Messenger, right? You can really, really get as complex complicated or as simple as you want. I'm going to keep mine very simple. Just set up an SMS bot because I want to generate SMS leads. Side note, one of the reasons I'm so partial to SMS is because when you generate a lead compliantly and they've given you their phone number, you own that lead and can reach out to them uh, on and on and on into the future versus in the other platforms, you only have a certain window of time that you're able to market to them. Once the window closes, you can't just send an outbound reactivation message. So when it comes to real lead gen and building up a marketing list, uh, we definitely want to focus on SMS if we can. Okay, and last here we have some advanced settings. This is pretty straightforward actually. I know they, it calls them advanced, but it's just like specify the business name. The default is the location name, but you can change that if you want. 
autopilot mode, how long to wait before responding? Do we want to simulate like a human's there and have it wait five minutes? Or do we want to just like go as quickly as possible, have it wait one second? I think I'm more partial to the faster response times. So I'll just go one second for now. Maximum messages a bot can send in a conversation. If it sends too many, the bot just turns off and lets a human take over. This is just to save money with tire kickers and people who are more interested in messing around with the bot rather than actually becoming a sale. As you can see, there is pricing associated with it where the pay as you go is just two cents a message. You can also upgrade to unlimited, but we don't wanna lose money because some kids are sending like thousands of messages to our AI bot or something like that. So this max messages is just a nice little guardrail. Once you have your basic settings dialed, you can go to training. Well, I'll just hit save really quick. And then I will go to training. This is where the magic starts to happen. First, we have the web crawler, which allows us to just put in a business website and then the bot will automatically go read through that website. It'll digest all of the content on that website it can and train itself on that specific business. And you can do more than once. You could have the business's home site and you could have a Google doc with a bunch of FAQs loaded up by staff members on that business, customer service people, etc. And just like that, your bot is trained up on all the specifics of that business, including like address, hours, anything general Q&A like that, super helpful with the web crawler. Beyond that, you can just type Q&As directly into the interface where the system will save them. And then you can pop into the test your bot area to start conversing with your bot and seeing how it's doing. That also exists on the bot goals page. So either of these will have the test your bot area. But here on bot goals is where we see behind the curtain to the real meat and potatoes of what makes this bot so special. Prompt area is split into three different subcategories. You can describe its personality, its intent, as well as additional information. We have great defaults and starting places for these prompts, as well as a bunch of resources in app right there that you can just click to learn more about how to properly prompt your bot, how to continually improve those prompts, etc. And then here at the bottom, we can actually include actions as well. Appointment booking will actually allow us to select a calendar from inside of high level that the bot knows how to read and will converse with leads to get them to an appointment booked all conversationally. It will share available times from the calendar, uh, allow the lead to respond conversationally with a day and time that works best, and then just go build that appointment, set that appointment in that calendar for us. Trigger a workflow. Here we can tell the bot when a certain condition is met, if they say this or that thing, or if the conversation gets to the certain point, trigger workflow, right? Super powerful that conversation AI can integrate so seamlessly with workflows. And then add contact info. You already know how to make custom fields. So now you can have the bot actually update the values of those custom fields. So if it gets into a qualifying conversation, say for whatever reason, you'd like to know the approximate value of the leads car. How much will the car sell for, et cetera, or how much did they pay for, or just what's the make and model. Let's say we want information about their car. We can create those custom fields in the custom field area and then have the bot update those custom fields with the particular information that we're gathering from the lead. So that's super nice. And then of course we have the stop bot action. This is another great guardrail if the conversation goes south and we just wanna give explicit instructions to the bot on when to give up based on how the conversation's going, if there's been expletives or just if something crazy happens, right? We wanna be able to tell the bot to stop. So we can dial that all in right here. Something else I wanna point out about the test your bot area is once we have a test conversation with the bot, we can actually proactively train it. So here I just asked a question that was very easy for it to nail because it's the Q&A that I just put on the previous page but uh, I can give it a thumbs up, which just reinforces it, lets it know that it's doing a good job. Or if it says something I don't like, I can hit the thumbs down button and it allows me to update that Q&A right there. Or another option I have is to click these little stars, which will just bring out the full AI prompting, including its response, its current prompt and intent setup, knowledge chunks and chat history so that you can get a full picture of why it's responding that way and know exactly what you need to do if you want to change it. This functionality actually persists into real conversations as well. So just like in the test your bot area, when I'm actually having real conversations with leads, or I should say when my AI bot is having conversations with leads, every message that it sends will have this thumbs up, thumbs down and little star icon here that will allow me to continue 
proactively training my bot with every message that it sends. So that training alongside suggestive mode in general is really helpful in giving you a path to ease your way into conversation AI without taking too big of a risk or without making really big commitments. Okay, so that is most of the bot set up and once you're ready to launch it live, you can do so by just setting it to autopilot and making it the primary bot. Once you've done that, it'll start handling all the conversations in the channels that you've selected. But there's one other thing that I wanna show you, which is in workflows, we actually have the ability to turn a specific bot on or off granularly lead by lead. So let's say in our context here that we want all the new leads to be handled by the bot, but then once they become a sale, we want them to not be handled by the bot. We want the bot to be turned off. So I'll go to my new sale workflow. You could do this in any workflow that you want. And we're just gonna go to update conversation bot and status. And for the use case that I just described, I just wanna set it to inactive and then don't reactivate the bot. Obviously, you can control all these parameters for your specific use case, but this is how you can go into workflows to make sure that this or that bot is turned on or off and why and for how long, etc, etc, lead by lead. Once you're done with that, just make sure that you save the workflow and then you are done. I recommend taking a little bit of time to really think through your conversation AI strategy, what's going to be the way that you get the most out of it and learn a little bit more about prompting, etc. Go through some of the resources that I showed you in the bot settings because conversation AI can be really, really powerful. It can save you time, make you more money, increase the capacity of your lead flow to scale basically to infinity. But you do need to make sure that you're using it effectively. And that can take a little bit of intention at the beginning just to make sure that it's trained properly, that it knows how to say the right thing, that it knows the information that it needs to have about the business in order to support leads conversationally, so on and so forth. So take your time getting set up, but don't get stuck either. Don't get paralyzed. Make sure that you move forward, even if it's just in suggestive mode for now. That's a great starting place if you're not super confident. Have a partner or an employee or a loved one or a trusted customer even test out the bot alongside you. Get some other people's feedback who understand your business and understand how it's going to be helpful. And of course, if you run into any hiccups, get on your kickoff call, live one-on-one -on -one call with our team. We will be happy to help you make sure that you're on the path to achieving success with Conversation AI. That said, now that you know how to put all your conversations on autopilot with Conversation AI, you can go ahead and move on.